this will be a very brief video uh, on equipment that is used for scientific glass blowing, uh, specifically the blow hose and adapters that are that are used with it. So many times you can have a piece of glass heated up and blow directly into it, but that's not actually how I was taught when I learned the basics of scientific glass blowing in graduate school. Uh, the way I was taught was with a blow hose. So you have some uh, tubing. We used to use just a latex uh, hose that's used uh, in chemistry labs for all kinds of stuff. This is actually very nice. This is silicone. Uh, and you can buy this stuff in many places. Uh, I bought this from McMaster. Uh, anyway, uh, you put a little mouthpiece uh, into your, your blow hose. Uh, and on the other end, uh, you've got a swivel and adapter. This particular swivel, uh, it, it only swivels in, in one axis. Uh, and, you know, this is where we've got uh, our, uh, our adapter. Uh, now, in my case, uh, I wired my, uh, my swivel down with copper wire, and then I put some Teflon on there to make it uh, uh, less uh, dangerous as far as the wire stabbing me. Uh, for my students, uh, uh, because they need to share the adapters, uh, I've got the swivel attached uh, to a small piece of uh, silicone, and then I have a piece of glass tubing, and then that will fit onto their blow hose, and then everything works out the same. Uh, what I'm holding here is a silicone adapter. Uh, I believe this is 14 millimeter. It goes from 10 uh, to 14. I think this is 20, and this is about 24, 25 millimeters. I should say these are all in millimeters. And these are incredibly useful uh, because, let's say, I've got uh, 14 millimeter uh, tubing. I can just slip it on like that, and I'm ready to go. And once you've attached it, right, there's your blow hose, you put that in your mouth and you blow. This is closed, uh, so uh, obviously you can't do it if it was open. The way I learned uh, using a blow hose, instead of these really nice uh, silicone adapters, uh, we use corks. So you take a cork and you uh, bore a hole through it, uh, and then you put a piece of glass or metal into it, and then you'll seat it into the tubing you want. There'll be hose attached here, and then you go from there for, for blowing through it. So these silicone adapters are very, very nice. You can't always use them if you have a size that uh, is too big or way too small for this, uh, but I pretty much uh, adopted these for almost everything uh, that I do with the blow hose. And the blow hose, again, is, uh, uh, something very straightforward, something that uh, if you're serious about learning glass blowing, uh, you should definitely get uh, some nice tubing uh, if you can afford. Uh, they're not that expensive uh, getting the uh, uh, silicone adapters. A swivel can cost you about 10 to $15 in, in that range, so it's not very expensive. Uh, and so, you know, you're, you're looking at, you know, maybe twenty thirty dollars total which is really overpriced if you buy kind of a preset pre-made package uh, of a blow hose and adapter and, and and the like but it is worth it because uh, when you're working with the blow hose it gives you a lot more control than if you're simply putting your mouth to the glass and blowing it now again this is a little bit subjective because if you have a lot of experience blowing directly into the glass you, you probably are going to be fine uh, if you're if you're new to glass blowing, learning how to use the blow hose can really uh, uh, help out because you can see what's happening as you blow into the glass. So, uh, but all all I wanted to do in this video was just show uh, again the the basic equipment uh, that you would need for a blow hose, a little mouthpiece which you can buy. All of this, uh, uh, with the exception of the tubing itself. Uh, all of the uh, silicone adapters and the swivels and the mouthpiece, uh, I bought them all from uh, Mountain Glass. Uh, like I said, the, uh, the hosing I bought from McMaster, but you can, you can source this from, from anywhere uh, on the internet. Uh, but again, a length of tubing, and uh, I'm about six foot, and my blow hose is about, I think, six six. Uh, so uh, you, you kind of have to cut the length of the hosing to whatever works best for you. Uh, it's actually probably a little bit long, but in some, some cases you do need uh, 
uh, a little bit more flexibility as far as how you position the glass and that includes the blow hose. Again, as far as how you would use the blow hose, so I've got my tubing, I've got my adapter, right, so it goes on here. Obviously this end has to be closed, uh, otherwise there's no point in using the blow hose. Uh, it can get a little awkward when you're first using it of getting used to having a little bit of drag, a little bit of pull, uh, but uh, I'm doing this further away without the flame so you can, you can see what I'm doing. So I'm using the same technique of where I'm cradling the, the glass tubing and I'm rotating and I have my blow hose and I would blow into it through the mouthpiece and if I have this area heated it would blow out uh, into a bulb or whatever I'm, whatever I'm trying to make. Uh, and because this is a swivel, as I rotate, I don't have to worry about it getting uh, the, the hose kinked up. Uh, many times I would have to use a blow hose and I didn't actually have a swivel, uh, so I'd have to be really careful of how I position my body, uh, because if I twisted, uh, it would twist the hose and eventually could cause the uh, piece of glass uh, to get out of control because of the torque. Uh, from the hose and I've, I've broken stuff like that before uh, because like I said I wasn't prepared uh, but uh, uh, my students are uh, getting ready to learn the fundamentals of using uh, a blow hose uh, for scientific glass blowing uh, so I wanted to make this video just to briefly show again the the equipment that you need because if, if you want to do scientific glass blowing you're going to need a simple blow hose setup. Uh, again, some, some tubing, it can be this nice silicone, it can be uh, just uh, latex rubber, uh, an adapter, a swivel adapter, uh, and either the cork uh, or uh, these nice silicone uh, adapters. And uh, I'm sure I'll have more videos uh, where, we, uh, where we use these. Uh, for one reason or another. Again, the traditional way of pulling a point and blowing through it, uh, that's fantastic. Uh, I've tried that. I'm not very good at it, but I can muddle through. Uh, but the, the blow hose uh, is, like I said, something that uh, in, in scientific glass blowing uh, is absolutely essential. And for comparison, uh, this is a point uh, actually, one of my students uh, pulled this point uh, last year. It's actually closed at both ends. So you would cut one of the ends, fire polish it, heat up this segment of glass, and then blow in uh, to the open side uh, while holding the other side, and then puff out your bubble and go from there. Uh, again, this is, you know, this is sealed here. Uh, we've got a cork, and it's got a piece of glass tubing in it. Uh, you'd put your blow hose here, uh, heat and then blow, and then we've got the new uh, silicone adapters which basically seat right onto uh, the glass tubing that you're going to use and they come in different sizes for the different diameters of glass, even down to uh, 10 millimeter, uh, and then you would, you would blow into it and do what you need to. So it's not a question of one method being correct versus the other, it's simply how, uh, how you were taught. I was taught using, again, the traditional blow hose uh, with the corks. Uh, many, you know, scientific glass blowers were taught pulling points. Uh, and you find that if you can do both, it really comes in uh, very handy depending on what you're trying to accomplish. Uh, for me, the, the blow hose is really where I feel the most comfortable when I'm, when I'm working uh, with uh, the molten glass, doing scientific glass blowing. But in some cases, if you're making like a little Christmas ornament uh, or, or something like that with a, with a point, uh, that can actually be a little bit easier uh, to do that uh, uh, rather than using the blow hose. But uh, again, it really comes down to uh, what your preference is.